We're going to talk about aggregate supply, or more specifically changes in aggregate supply in this video. And there's only really three ways that uh, I'm going to talk about that changes aggregate supply. Now, if factor price, and the first one is if factor prices decrease, then of course our aggregate supply moves right. And that is because if factor prices are the price of inputs. If our inputs get cheaper, we can make more given the same price, and that's why our aggregate supply moves right. If factor supply increases then aggregate supply moves right and that's pretty much a repeat of the first uh, first first whatever you call it first trade I guess now if productivity or technology improves or gets better let's just say it rises then aggregate supply moves right as well that is because technology never gets worse it only gets better right well that's a theory so if it gets better then we can make more using the same inputs that we uh, had before. But with this new technology, we could increase our supply. So what do these three uh, characteristics really do? Well, they increase our aggregate supply, so aggregate supply moves right. So then, in essence, we it's not the, it's not the price that changed, but some other factor that, some other factor other than price that caused uh, aggregate supply to change. So we have a new curve, and let's have this curve be our aggregate supply too and this here is our new price and this is the immediate period that I'll abbreviate it in and notice that the during the immediate period the price did not change at all that's because I told you before that given a change that happened the prices are not immediately reflected of the change that occurred and this graph that I drew here represents that so we'll have uh, so we'll have increased output y2 at the same price now after a short while like sh uh, a short run period the price will be reflected in the in the graph so then the price will drop so then let's change colors the price will drop from this immediate price down to here down to the price that we used to have but now uh, the price is lower for the the price is lower for the output for the amount of output that we were originally selling before we had a change in aggregate supply and that's really all I want to talk about in this video and I hope I kept it short please comment rate or subscribe uh, I can really use the criticisms or tell me make my videos better thanks for watching